しよせ江戸天聖Fan, make sure I go ahead and check out our Patreon for exclusive access to full length reactions and some exclusive reactions that don't even hit YouTube. Make sure I go ahead and click that link. Appreciate y'all and back to your record schedule program. Bungo Stagnant Dingoes, it's your boys, Reanimated, Sean Nakage, Mr. BFB, episode 11. Uh, episode 10 was that shit, you understand yeah. me? We had niggas on the Titanic fighting for their lives, nigga. Throwing hands, you Jack, know what I'm Jack and Jumping Rose actually air. survived at the same goddamn time. They did. Um, and you know what happens when you- conveniently landed the boat when we were driving by. It did. Also, spun us all shit. It did. And that's what crazy, the crazy part was, we was always told, your boat's never big enough to save two people. But guess what? His boat was. He saved two people. He did. And then fucked, um, um, what's this, what's the dude's name? Uh, Dazai? Dazai's the suicidal one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucked up Dazai's old pupil. (laughs) Fucked his old partner. His old partner. Is it old partner? Mm Mm-hmm. No, Dazai. With the red hair? No. Oh, you're saying Atsushi fucked up his part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't get the Dazai's real fight when that nigga was was basically toying with his old partner. Yeah. You gonna let me go, bitch, because niggas got a letter. And if I die, nigga, secrets let out. Mm-hmm. Secrets let out, you niggas is finished. Yep. Let me go. On some G shit. Whew. That man's always a step ahead. You think real, he could have be beaten straight up, though? No, nah, he wasn't. He's not the fighter. He got some hands, though. He got hands, but his, compared to his partner, what we see, his partner's the actual. Yeah, no, he was, <laughs> he was beating his ass. I was like, damn, yeah. bro, it ain't looking too good for you, nah, man. Nah, nah. His... Dazai's partner, partner Dazai's partner would beat his would beat homeboys would beat Dazai's old partner's ass. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's right. I had to think about it. Am I Dazai's partner would beat his old partner's? Yeah, hit it, Jack. Boop. Episode eleven. That's one, by the way, because I knew you guys love that shit. Oh, made it back. <laughs> made it back alive. <laughs> well, that means he had to go get healed by homegirl. Well, not because he heals himself. They about to be drinking and being merry and shit. Facts. She a maid? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga taking pictures? Damn. Is that her phone they taking pictures with? <laughs> they having a fucking fashion show. Oh, so this is my dress up darling came from. Wait, this nigga helping out too? <laughs> <laughs> For someone who never wants oh. to be bothered, that nigga is very into this shit. Right. Never this mind. motherfucker. Never mind. I would have fought that nigga, bro. There it is. Like, you made me do all that work. <laughs> of course it was you. <laughs> Why I got this music? <laughs> <laughs> and you forgot where she came from? <laughs> it always starts with that bullshit. How she do it? Cutting the lens with her power. <laughs> oh, this nigga. He like a damn griffin. What do, what's this what are we doing the sound effects for? Every time. It's to add impact to his his glare. It has to be. He about to smile. Hmm. <laughs> Little take a stray dogs. Hmm? Atsushi beat the shit out of him. Who's that guy in the back? I'm a buttercup. Oh, 
my shit. Here we go. We gotta go through that phase where it's am I really Am I really shut off? Just a little kerchief. Yeah. Damn. In the bathroom? This is a woman's bathroom. You niggas. And don't come in here acting like hot shit when y'all got your asses beat by the agency. After y'all rolled up and, and like y'all shit. And toss out the window. And look where that got you. There goes that saxophone from Cowboy Bebop. Damn. He's obsessed with Dazai. I mean, real, real big ex girlfriend vibes right now, bro. <laughs> What's that girl's deal? Let's come on over to the agency. We'll take you. Yeah, they about to murder this nigga while he sleep? Yo! <laughs> Don't move! Oh, wait, he's not moving. Oh! These niggas are menaces, bro. She got the call. That's a nice background. You don't, you don't got an Uber or nothing, Ma? You going... That bag is heavy as shit. She is sprinting, sprinting. Conviction or some shit. Possibly. Oh, damn, a grenade? That's how you starting off? Ah! <laughs> Alright, you're an idiot. <laughs> All this is saving them, it's not gonna be grateful for you saving them. How stupid are you? Like, come on. She's a woman in love, bro. If there's one thing that's dumb in this plan, or women in love, my God. We're about to smoke on that Aqua de Gawa pack tonight. Uh oh. <laughs> if your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> that's basically what he said. He got a coma. All it took was the bed to rattle to wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't trying shaking this nigga. <laughs> That's what I see. Like. <laughs> I love you. You better leave that job, girl. They don't care about you. That's for anybody out there. I could have done without that whole part right there. <laughs> An ecstatic detective agency. Is this episode X? Yeah, it's the second act. <laughs> oh, you a bumpkin bumpkin. Amish is what they call it, sir. You a bumpkin. <laughs> I just found out about Uber and fast food. Hmm. Our boy getting his stripes. God yeah. damn! He said blew up. He said he was in a fucking <laughs> That building. nigga took flight, bro. He said to infinity and beyond. How'd that happen? That don't impact. That nigga died when he got blown up. No problem. I got some more where that came from. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a smile. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> mm. 
Whoa. Wow. <laughs> they had a truck full of that shit, and then somebody was smoking inside and fucking blew it up by accident. <laughs> the way this show writes sometimes, I can see that. <laughs> the main niggas on the wild goose shit just find out it was an accidental homicide, suicide. <laughs> I guess you're right. I'll change my outlook on life now. This nigga in the corner. That's crazy they got him actually dressed as a white tiger. Even with, <laughs> even with his like his belt being mm -hmm. a tail. It's like a tail, yeah. <laughs> well, I got the banjo playing. <laughs> hmm. Those punks know too much. We're gonna have to get one piece. I don't think that's communion, bro. <laughs> oh my god. god damn. damn. Yo, you good, fam? Nah, bro. He... Sharing possessions, responsibilities. Jesus Christ. This nigga been kicked in the head by one too many horses. No. Damn! I know his back's always crazy. That farm strength's different. Should cows act up, hit them with whatever's close at hand? <laughs> That's, what? That's a stupid ass condition. So now he's useless. Wow. <laughs> nigga picked up his car, ate some shit, and went back to sleep. <laughs> that is wild, bro. Nigga got clocked up something. He said, okay, I understand. <gasps> Guess Take what, this. bitch? <laughs> you didn't know, but I'm actually the Incredible Hulk. Davai was nowhere to be found that whole goddamn episode. That's how you know he's coming in the last episode. What the fuck is he up to? You know, he up to some shit, bro. I hope so. But nah, that was a good episode. That's the first act. Every, everybody got the episode, bro. Everybody got the episode. The first act when she went to go get. Wait, was the first act. The first act was when the president uh, welcomed her in. The second act is oh. when a homegirl went to go get homeboy. That was the first act, though. Was it? Mm hmm. The second act was the one we just saw where they pulled up on a, that gang that was responsible for that bombing. The but, Amoeba um, Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Rowdy Rough Boys. The Rowdy Rough Boys. But, um, um yeah. Go ahead. What you, what you about to say? That fight scene with the machine guns? Stupid as fuck, right? Listen. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, you threw the grenade, and the same amount of niggas that was there before that grenade went off was still there. Corporal Bowler. Okay. Honestly. So that's the first thing. Second thing, you sitting here running up on four niggas with machine guns while you got a machine gun. Like, yeah, you got a machine gun. You could possibly hit everybody. However, there's four of them with machine guns to your one. And you're not zigzagging. You're running straight. Mm -hmm. Straight at them. With so their cowboy, aim is terrible. With a cowboy bebop saxophone in the back. Go ahead. Yeah. And then, as of being behind the box, you catch the body that's right there. You know what I'm saying? You get shot in your leg. Cool. Your next best bet is to jump out from behind the box and just start shooting at niggas. What makes you think that was a good idea? Why blonde. not stay behind the box still and then peek out and shoot? She was a, <laughs> she was a blonde with blue eyes and blonde hair. So. It was a Nazi thing to be stupid? No, it's just blondes are just legally stupid. I don't know. But they have more fun, Taylor. They have more fun. Obviously so. She survived that bullshit she just went through. That's true. That's true. Her, her subordinates came Just for this nigga to turn his head and apologize. Should have left that nigga in a coma. He said, I'm sorry about that. Just let me fade away. Please, because I just got my ass beat like I never got my ass beat before. <laughs> this nigga got his ass beat and drowned. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you saw the shit he was that was broken on this nigga. 
Yeah, he, they had they had like a, a jungler a rupture, <laughs> some vertebrae vertebrae that were broke. Uh, and so what's the point of keeping him on the machine if they took this nigga off the machine and he was still alive? Yeah, I didn't understand that. Like the machine was keeping him alive, and now you took him off the machine and he was still alive with no machine present at the site. I don't know, but. Aside from all that, good episode. Oh, it was a good episode. I, I can't complain. Just that second half of that first act was really strange, writing wise. Not writing wise, but the... no, writing wise, yeah. Writing wise, yeah. Because I mean, it's just common sense things that a simple Google search could tell you. Like you took, listen, you took the time to identify all the shit that was medically wrong with this nigga and have it actually be like sounding like a doctor. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the way you presented it. You could take some time to sit here and be like, okay. These niggas transported the machines with him. Right, they transported the machines with them. Or, you know what I'm saying, having her, her little gunfight, like, be a little bit some more common sense. It's like Star Trooper shooting at each other. Yeah, it was literally Storm Trooper aim. That shit was crazy. Indeed, but that's all I got, brother. That's all you got? That's all I got. I like it. And we know what commune means now. What does it mean? It's a group of people living together and sharing possessions and responsibilities. So he lived with the cows and shared responsibilities. What and responsibilities did the cows have? To, whatever. Okay, know. anyway. Ram me the fan. Thank you guys for watching Eat another reaction cud. with your boys. Sherman the Kage, Mr. BFB. Bungo Stagnant Dingoes. Comment, like, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah. Get to the link tree below. Join us on all the all, all the socials. Join the Discord. Run the numbers up. Incident.com. Ram me the discount code. Ram me the family. Stay classy. Ram me it. Out. Mm-hmm.